at the end of the day hair grows so if my hair is going to drop out it's no one's fault but myself i need more prosecco my name is Sona aka I'm a designer it has been a long time since I have posted on YouTube all my subscribers if you've missed me drop me a message below and everybody new watching my channel welcome because I'm back you're gonna be sick of me bruh <laughs> really though I'm gonna be bringing you all the best content to do with hair business and lifestyle and today i'm going to kick it off with a review of a product as you can see i'm blonde i'm fully blonde where i left off last time with my last video i had blonde highlights but you know what lockdown i was coming to the end of the highlights like literally i was cutting my ends to start fresh and to you know have natural my natural hair color and to try and grow my hair long and all of that jazz but i was just like you know, with the pandemic, life is short and I love a blonde hair. So in this channel, I'm literally going to be doing all things hair. That's natural hair, protective styling, and also just basically trying to keep your hair on your head when your whole head is bleached. To achieve this colour, I bleached it twice and then I toned it with a 20 volume bleach and i used the weller t18 toner to get this color but you know what like i'm still not happy with the color like at the beginning i absolutely loved it but you know what when you're blonde you're always chasing to go lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter and like initially when i first bleached my hair without it being toned it was complete it was like i went from orange to orange with kind of like blonde roots and then when i put the toner in it because i've been orange for about a week because i gave my hair like a week break before i toned it i was in love with it but now i'm like i kind of want to go more platinum and i put on my instagram story i put like a little vote thing and i was like oh should i go lighter should i not and everybody was like no because i've bleached my hair so many times and you know obviously when you bleach your hair like you can lose your curl pattern your hair can break off like there's so many cons when it comes to bleaching your hair everybody told me not to bleach my hair in the first place but i remember when i did it i went i went missing for about a week everybody that was calling me that wanted to meet up whatever i went missing for a whole week because I, I i had orange hair and like there was no way that I was going to show my hair looking like that because then everybody would be like oh what have you done to your hair this that and the other red hair tear so obviously I had to do the big reveal after I toned it right I want to bleach my hair again because I want it to be more white I still feel like there's it's a bit too yellow like obviously like it's a nice color but I just feel like I want to be a little bit more platinum so I'm thinking okay cool before I take that drastic measure and process my hair for the fourth time i did a little bit of research and i was looking for products to see what i could find that could potentially take the yellow out of my hair and that's when i came across the purple hair mask from bold unique so i'm going to show you what it looks like and i brought it from amazon um, it's an american company i'll drop the details below if you want to try it out for yourself it's for blonde platinum or gray hair and it's basically to take out the yellow tones and the brassiness of the hair color so this is what i am going to experiment with today so this is kind of going to be a review i have no idea how this is going to work with afro slash kinky curly hair i went on their instagram and i don't think i saw one black person on there yes i love to buy um black hair products but in terms of what i was looking for to basically take the yellowness out of my hair without having to bleach it i couldn't actually find any black hair products so i went with this and it's a little bit it's a little bit risky because obviously I didn't see any black people on there but 
it's not as risky as bleaching my hair again so we're gonna take that chance i was not sponsored by this video because it's not set like that yet i have to talk things into existence i'm gonna give you my honest opinion because they have not paid me and i don't even know if it's going to work that's the wickedest thing i don't know if it's gonna work so this is literally a review with zero expectation okay it costs 20 pounds it's not really gonna break the bank if it works fantastic if it doesn't work it's 20 pounds down the drain but hey at least i made some content for you guys so it is what it is we are going to get into the unboxing of this product and then i am going to do the whole process i'm going to apply it um wash it out dry it lord knows that on a wash day it takes a very long time pray to god that it's still light and bright outside for the sake of the continuity of this video but we all know how long it takes um to wash and dry afro hair so we don't see so it comes with two like circle seals and inside you get the hair mask what I'm curious to see is whether this is like a one application thing or if you have to keep applying it every single wash. That's actually what I'm not sure and what I didn't do any research on. So we'll see. And then also you get gloves and then you get the guide. And that's literally it. So let's have a look at the guide to see how this works because i literally have no clue but i do hope it works though okay so it says how does this mask work think back to school purple okay i don't know i don't really want to be... okay so basically it gives you a little bit of information against like the color guide and how the colors work to cancel out other colors and ting and ting oh so it is a more than one time thing so it says how often should i use the purple mask we recommend you use the bulgy neat purple mask in between every second or third wash to remove brassy and yellow tones along with giving your hair an intensive deep hydration our secret formula moisturizes dry and damaged hair combats frizz and brings back your shine you wash your hair my hair's already washed i've got a bit of gel at the front but then my front is pretty much black or really light anyway because it's obviously close to my scalp so when you bleach it it's the first to bleach do a strand test ain't nobody got time for that towel dry and apply my hair's dry now but i literally just washed it about an hour ago so i'll probably just spray some water in it just to make it a bit wet again i'm um, applying it says um, to lighten silver grey hair, leaving for three to five minutes. For shimmering platinum, silver or ash grey tones, leaving for 10 to 20 minutes. Some bold uniquers go longer for extreme results, but that's on you. I think I'm going to leave it in for half an hour because I'm extreme. Um, it says step five, oops, gone too far. You should now be looking beautiful, bold and unique, but if you've overdone it, don't panic. Just jump back in the shower and use your normal shampoo a couple of times to remove any violet tones. Then just blow dry and straighten. Any purple tones will miraculously evaporate, leaving you with the look desired. Okay, so basically what I'm getting from this, if you leave it in too long, your hair can turn purple, but it's not the end of the world because... Basically, if you keep shampooing it, it will come out. I'm not scared. There's no peroxide in it. If I put it in for too long, my hair turns purple. There's no peroxide. I can get the purple out. But I just want the yellow in my hair to come out. That's what I want. So I pray to God that it works. If I'm honest, I'm not. I'm not 100% certain that it's going to come out. But hey, we try. What I want to do is I want to show you the colour of my hair first so this is what this is what i'm currently working with this is the color of my hair right now so i'm gonna spray it oh i feel like this is gonna be a bad thing i'm literally please why is it to take out the hair band it's so stressful <sighs> Ow. i need a break I'm not even that tender headed, that's the wicked is. <laughs> Why? 
why? Why all the time? Look how much hair I've lost. I just basically gotta make my hair damp. So <laughs> now that you're on big big YouTube, you don't wanna work. How dare you? Why are you not spraying? Rude. Sorry, what? So I feel like I've wet it. I've wet it enough. I'm also gonna brush it into my hair just so that it gets it gets over everything. I don't wanna miss any bits. Woo! That's what it looks like. Look quite sexy. Mm. <laughs> Do I want to be doing this on my sofa? That's now my question. <laughs> this is my designated bleaching towel. So I'm going to sit on this so that my sofa doesn't get damaged. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Here we go. Shall I tell you what the funniest thing is? Is that I'm doing this <laughs> over a white rug. That's what the funniest thing is. But hey, I'm clearly very confident. That looks proper purple. <laughs> I would absolutely die if my hair turned into this colour. If you love blonde hair, yeah, and you bleach your hair all the time, me personally, sometimes I'll get bored of it. I'm a serial hair bleacher, right? I've been doing it for years. I've been, <laughs> I've been through it all. My hair's broken, all broken off. I've cut my hair into a bob. I've styled again. I've dyed my hair again. My hair's turned green. I've literally been through it all. So the fact that I'm still going through this shit, it's like, girl, you're, I'm actually insane. But I'm at the point where it's like, I absolutely love it, like when my hair's blonde, so it's like, I'm looking for the hack, I'm looking for the hack, for my hair not to drop out and for me to have blonde hair, and that, that's why we're here, because I'm looking for the hack, that's why we're here. We've all been going through lockdown. Um, I moved to a new place literally one week before the first lockdown in March. Um, completely different side of London to where I was living before. Um, and it's like a bougie area. I kind of like it here. It's very quiet, you know. Um, I also open my own creative studio. Um, if you don't know, I've got my own business called Amarachi, which is an online accessories store. I also design the majority of the accessories that's on there. I will put the details in somewhere so that you can have a look. Potentially buy something. That would be great. Support a black business. Um, yeah, so I've actually been really busy. I've been doing good things. Um, as well as trying to get through this pandemic. I'm sure it's hard for everyone, you know. It's a lot to kind of um, get used to. It's like, I'm having to get used to a new normal, you know. And especially for me as a small business, like, I have been tested, I've had to work you know, a lot harder than usual, but I'm a hard worker, so it's cool. We get through it anyway. And my studio is a testament to that because I actually got that during lockdown. So I've literally just been grinding and grinding and grinding. I can't wait to share a lot more of that stuff with you. Like I said, I'm going to be doing hair stuff and I'm going to be doing business stuff with you guys as well. So, yeah, I can't wait for this journey, to be honest, and I can't wait to be a lot more consistent with this stuff. So I'm just gonna take everything out and then go over it 
again as a whole. But I literally have so much more. I don't know if you can see. I will zoom in there. I don't want to pick it up because I don't want it. I don't want to get the purple all over it. I love it when people touch my hair and play with my hair. Love. Oh, massages is my favourite thing in the whole entire world. So I'm just going to brush through it just to make sure that everything is covered. And then I'll just add some more as I go along. for the next half an hour. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna leave this in for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna come back to you. And just like that, I'm back. There's actually a bit of a change. I feel like my hair is a bit cooler. You're not really gonna see a difference if there is a difference until it's dry. But I, I I I don't know if I'm hopeful or not, so let me just try it. This is what it looks like dry. I can 100% see a difference, as slight as it is. Do I want to go brighter? Yes, 100%. Yes, I do. But it's definitely gonna deter me a little bit longer um in terms of putting more bleach in my hair now that i've got this mask at least following the instructions at least i can use it like i think it said every second or third time i wash my hair so i think i'm definitely going to do that because if i can gradually you know change the color of my hair without using more peroxide 100 i'm going to try it and my hair feels really smooth I actually love the way that it feels. Yeah, I like it. I feel like maybe I don't even need to go lighter. Okay, answer to the question. Was it worth it? 100% worth it. Does it work? Yes, it does work. I've only done this once. So can you imagine if I do it after every three washes, it would actually make a really big difference. So I think, I think it's a yes, guys. Honestly, it looks cute. Like once I, you know, get my edges down and slay the edges and whatnot, I think it will look, I like it. I like it. We are gonna rate this product a seven out of 10. It's better than average to be honest nothing can be a 10 that is a really really good score the reasons for my scoring one my hair is nice and smooth it doesn't give my hair any type of mad feeling my hair really actually feels nice also that the fact that my hair color has changed slightly without any peroxide that also helps with the score to stop it being a 10 is the fact that really I would love if my hair was just a little bit whiter. That's what is stopping it from being a night. I will never rate a product 10 out of 10. It's, it's never come to that just yet. I don't think I'm that person that would ever rate a product 10 out of 10. So let's just say stopping it from being a 9 is the fact that I would have just loved for it to lift my colour a little bit more. I'm happy with the product. I'm going to keep using the product. I think if I continue to use this. It will eventually get as much yellow out of my hair as possible so i feel like maybe i actually don't need to bleach it again which is a win it's a win for my hair it's a win for my curls so i think this review in general is pretty much a win-win <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you found it useful please do me a favor like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that notification bell so you get an alert every time i post a video thank you so much for watching bye <music>